So, this discussion will provide interesting knowledge and insights about the helicopter from its manufacturer up to its development, as well as the previous and current Philippine Air Force procurement plans that go related to this topic, wherein the ideas of technicality, feasibility, and capability will be tackled upon. These in which provide the idea so as to what will it be for the Philippine Air Force, especially on considering obtaining such an asset like the CH-47 Chinook helicopter. The plans for acquiring Chinook heavy lift helicopters is something that seems to be relatively new, especially in defense discussions, given that in the past, the military assets aired are primarily focused more on assets, such as Sikorsky S-76s and Vela-1 Hueys, both of which are still in service with the Philippine Air Force up to the current date. However, this is not the case wherein there are already plans back then for the service branch to procure these heavy lifters for the country to have. This actually happened during the 1970s, under the Marcos administration. Upon the link provided above on the details extracted from the Philippine military historian as he posted it on another defense page, the plans that were made before the 1977-1981 five-year AFP modernization program, this one precedes the 1995 and the current 2013 version, considers the viability and importance of rapid transport of troops and equipment across the country, especially in terms of counterinsurgency yurts in the south of the country, were the issues back then, as it still holds true even today. Such plans were being considered back then, given that it will help augment the Philippine Air Force's C-130s, which was only three units during that period, the current number of units for such a platform is four, with one will help replace a single unit sewered from a RE, which may equate overall to V units, while this was considered back then, it was worth considering that such plans did not push through and instead settle with the existing inventory of military cargo aircraft of that time, which is both the C-130s and the A-1 Hueys. At the present date, this is now getting to consider once again, wherein getting to know and understand about the platform and its development is something for us to have an idea about the CH-47 Chinook helicopters. The CH-47 Chinook helicopter is the main heavy lift workforce of the United States Army, wherein its performance is already reputable, where several countries also obtain such units in their respective armed forces. Through the decades it serves among its users, its service is denitely useful for its respective users, which at no surprise, it is still serviceable until at the present date, despite the design being derived from the 1960s at the period, in which other helicopter platforms like the L-1 Huey, the ones that are still in service within the Philippine Air Force, were being produced. It all started when Boeing in the 1960s bought Vertel Aircraft Company, which is the company that is behind the earliest of developments behind the CH-47 Chinook, which helps develop such kind of helicopter to what it is today. Even before Vertel formed, there is the Piasecki where there originate the core essentials of what is to be the tandem rotor composition that is the main feature of the Chinook. It all started when Piasecki Helicopters Corporation developed the HRP Rescuer Helicopter, which in itself is the RST tandem rotor helicopter produced in service. Designed by its founder Frank Piasecki, this is considered the RST helicopter that served the United States Coast Guard, United States Navy, and the United States Marine Corps, in terms of doing practical operations, such as search and rescue operations, earlier tactics for vertical assault, and other matters which are unthinkable in terms of utilizing rotary aircraft, given that it was on its period of infancy. Through the years since the HRP Rescuer helicopter was developed and produced for its aforementioned users, Piasecki Helicopters now improved its tandem rotor helicopter design further with the H-21 Shawnee commissioned into service. 
It apparently went in service with several countries, starting with the United States, with its Air Force and Army utilized the platform with other countries being Canada, France, Sweden, Japan, and Germany. The H-21 sought service in Vietnam, wherein its design has shown its weakness where it is under-armored and is vulnerable to Smalarm's re, especially in its control and cabling components. Apparently, in the course of the Vietnam War, this platform was replaced by, of course, the CH-47 Chinook helicopter, which in itself an evidenced improvement of the H-21 Shawnee, which is still in service with several countries, even at the current date. Nevertheless, the H-21 Shawnee still provides that insight that, along with its HRP rescuer predecessor, tandem rotor helicopters are reliable on their own worth, which of no surprise helped develop the more modern version of such platform, where its performance is of benefit for several countries that have them. After the H-21, there is still one more helicopter platform for us to discuss and learn, especially regarding the origin of the CH-47 Chinook helicopter's design. Here comes the CH-46C Knight medium lift helicopter, which was produced by the same manufacturer Boeing Vertel Helicopter Company. Designed for servicing the United States Navy and Marine Corps, it served both military service branches for decades, ranging from the Vietnam War, in which the CH-47 Chinook under the U.S. Army also served, to the combat zones in Iraq, where it helped the USMC conduct its operations, with several casualties in place, up until to its retirement in the early 2000s where it was replaced eventually by the V-22 Osprey Tiltrader aircraft, produced by a joint partnership between Boeing and Bell Helicopters. With this number of tandem rotor helicopter versions that were made, it goes to show the importance of obtaining such platforms in such a way that the developers have managed to make up with the CH-47 Chinook helicopter, which still shows its reliability, performance, and capability that is still up to its purpose even in the modern age.